Hey everybody, my name is Sam, and today I'm going to take you through a tutorial on how to create your first presentation in the Spideo Perform web app. There are a number of different places that you can create a presentation. The menu is often the same, so we're going to go through the one that we feel is the most common workflow for users. The first step is to come to app.spideo.net. This is the Spideo Perform web app. On the left hand side, we are now in the Recordings tab and you're going to find the recording that you want to create a presentation of. We're going to click into this recording here. So to create a presentation, you need to have tagged the recording using a tag panel. You can see in this recording along the timeline here, I've already created some tags of important moments throughout the game. What we're now going to do is come to the right hand side of the screen to this three dots menu. Clicking this, we get the option to add to presentation. We can see here that seven tags have been selected, which are all the tags along the timeline, and these are all going to be added to the presentation we create. So we'll click Add to Presentation here. You can select some already made presentations via this section here, but you will see Create New Presentation at the top, and we're going to click on this button. This is the Create New Presentation screen, and it asks you for a bit of information. Firstly, a title. Secondly, your sharing options. You can edit these later if you wish, but you can also set them now. You can share to groups within your account that you are a member of, and you can also share to individual people on your account by typing their email in here. Once you're happy with these settings, click Create. Once created, you will be returned to the recording web player, but to find your presentation, come to the left-hand side to Presentations, and you can see it here in the presentations list. You can see here the total clips added to this presentation, the total time this presentation will run for, when it was created, its title, the creator of the presentation, and the groups that it's being shared to. In the three dots menu here, you can edit the settings we saw before, you can duplicate this presentation, and you can also delete it at any time if you wish. The Create New Presentation screen we saw before can be found in many other places, such as here in the Presentations tab, within the Clips tab, and within the Data Explorer tab. So if you see it, you can follow the same process to create a new presentation. You've now created your first presentation, and that's the end of the tutorial. If you have further questions that have not yet been answered, you can find our Help Center in the bottom right-hand corner here, and you can contact support if you wish to speak to a support agent via this option here. Thanks so much for watching.